Alright, so it's finished. Just gonna give a little bit of seconds. And then yeah, it's it it starts with that song and then you know all those things. Now you click on this button, export to YouTube, and it says here's why we export you, your video to YouTube. First you send to YouTube and ask to log in, give us permission to access your account. Don't worry, they don't hack you. I tried this like six times already. They haven't hacked me yet, but they're not gonna hack you. Trust me on that. And this is as soon as you guarantee us permission, blah 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 blah, and then they'll upload it. Just click continue. It will take you to the YouTube site, and it says authorized access to your account. Animoto.com re registered secure, so that means it's good. So you you should just put allow access. This website is required with Google to make authorization requests. Just put allow access. You won't always have to do this, but sometimes you do. Most of the time you do. And then it'll say title, blah, 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 whatever. You can put it a private, but I'm not going to do it because last time I did, and it didn't even upload for anything, and I need this to upload, so I can show the tutorial. And it says export now, click on that, which I already did. And then it should say, wait for a little bit. Your video is being exported to YouTube, this may take several minutes, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I'll, I'll be right back once it's done. It'll be like one minute or two minutes, depending on how many pictures and stuff. Okay, so now it's um, exported to YouTube. It's just saying that, no, your YouTube has been posted successfully, but YouTube can take up to 30 minutes to process it. Usually that doesn't happen, but if it does, then just wait. For me, it takes only, like only three minutes or something. So hopefully it's it's already on there. So I'm going to my account, my videos. So it's still processing, so I'll be right back. But you can tell that... So you can tell that it's already uploaded, it's just processing, so I'll be right back. Alright, now it's switched to live. Just click on it. And then there's your video. Now go either here, URL, and copy it, or just go up to the URL on the Internet Explorer and just click copy on that. Now, this is the time that you uh, download YouTube Downloader. Uh, just search it on Google, or I'll, if I can find it, I'll post the link. And uh, you open it. You can just you can close any moto right now unless you're gonna make like three like me, but I didn't. I already did that before I made this tutorial. So now I go to YouTube Downloader, and when you click on it, click paste. Sometimes once you open this and you click on this, it should just give you the it should just um paste the link for you. So first you put the first bubble right here where it says download video from YouTube. Put put that and then put OK. And it'll say for getting final information, blah, blah blah blah. And then just save it as whatever your name, whatever the video's name is, like intro. Then you just put intro, but mine's just a test, you know. And you're gonna have two dots sometimes if you don't, two dots on the file name, so it's gonna be like test dot dot flv. If sometimes that happens, take off that extra dot and just click um, on anywhere, and then it'll be test dot flv. Because if it's test dot dot flv, it'll say that. It'll say that it can't convert it because of, like, supposedly a missing codec, but it's not. So, uh, let's see. Test. Just select it from here. There's a little button that's, that has a dot, 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 which means browse. Then you go to your, t um, to your FLV file. It's going to be an FLV, just to tell you. And then convert to Windows Media Video, and then V.7 at WMV. Cl put it on that because you're going to need to adjust some things. So put OK. And it'll be on the second bubble. Just click on the second bubble if you if you can do the the little convert thing. But anyways, and then choose quality from low to high. You can cut the video if you just want the audio. And then just the, adjust the volume. I'm just gonna leave it there and put OK. It'll say conversion of video file. Please wait. It'll take a couple of seconds and it'll say conversion of video file successful. Just exit this out. You can delete your FLV. And here's your test WMV. Now open Windows Movie Maker. And then go and then drag it onto it. And then drag it to the timeline and then adjust it a little bit so you don't see the animoto sign. So like it'll be like this. It'll be like that. It'll just cut off the animoto sign because you don't want the animoto.com sign because it's really annoying and it's useless. 
you can just post it in the description where you got the animation anyways so yeah once you're happy about it just put save if you're not happy about the music like change your mind you can choose the music from your own so, like I said you can still choose it like so like I'll put that little um remix of uh, the remix the one that's in the beginning of this video just drag it here and then like just click on this thing that has like a little volume bar it says it says set audio levels and then just put it all the way to the right this is audio music just play it if you sometimes if you still hear the the video one just do it again and you take it off and then and then it takes off that music and you and you put your own music and then you just have to adjust that then go to save movie file my computer whatever title I don't care and then while well, I put my other settings high high quality video if you don't have that just go to just leave it at this like it says best quality for playback on my computer recommended if you if you wanted my kind cause my kind I'm happy with it go to other settings and you'll get a whole list of it and go to high quality video large and you click on next and it should convert it it'll take a couple of seconds maybe a minute depending on your processor this is a this is a Pentium 4.0 gigahertz processor, so yeah. Yeah, I know it's old. That's why I want my own computer already. And because I want to down my, I want to build my dad's computer already, because that's gonna have dual core AMD. I'm gonna try AMD and Intel. Some people might think it's not a good combination, but I do. Doesn't matter. Any comments complaining about it, I will remove and I will block you. Even though you don't care, I will do it. Cause it's, both of them are good. I'm not. I'm not like in the war like everybody else is. Or quote war quote close. Let's just do that. All right. So it's done. You have an you have an option of play movie when you click finish. You can click that if you want to see it right now or not. And then just exit it. It says you want to save the changes you made to your project untitled. If you're still a little skeptical that you're going to think it's going to look ugly, just put yes to save it. And so you don't have to like drag the files again. If you're just um, like positive, just put no. And click on it. Click on it. And then it should just play. Now, like I said, I uh, put the audio in there. So like now it's my, now it's the audio I want instead of the one that, um, that Animoto um, put because I wasn't happy with it. Let's just say I wasn't happy with it. But if you didn't put your own music in Windows Movie Maker, it should be just the original song that you choose from any chose from Animoto. So that's it, guys. Uh, now you just have to upload it to YouTube. I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> my bad. Um, you just have to go to Windows Movie Maker and then again put the movie in there. And then drag it here, and then any of your movie, any of your whatever your video is, like a tutorial, just put it there, and then put it in the front, and it and it'll show the little intro, and then it'll play your video of whatever it is, like a tutorial. So that's it, guys. This is Homebrew to All, and I just showed you how to make your own intro for Animal. So thanks, guys. Bye.